Hello everyone and welcome to my Deja playthrough in the Emperor edition. Well, it's I guess the Imperator Augustus campaign, the special map. And we are close. We are so close to saying goodbye to this campaign. Actually, we will say goodbye to this campaign today. And I was sitting here and kind of debating on how to end it all. And um, let's see the current status of things. Uh, I suppose you can go in here, military training. Uh, the current status of things is that we are just solid everywhere. We have friends everywhere. Uh, there's hardly anyone that wants to fight us except for the uh, Eastern nations. Which I declare war on them because that made me friendly with Anthony's Rome and other Romans. Um, I still want to recruit units here <laughs> because uh, this army is the Iron Wolves, and there's got to be an Iron Wolf army because I am back an Iron Wolf, and we together can be the Iron Wolf Brigade. If you guys join me on Steam in that in the steam group um, and yeah I think I have I have a skill or two to hand out back here yep. and as I was saying uh, civil administration sure as I was saying, I'm just debating on which way to go about it. Um, I have two armies here. I'm gonna this last thing I'll do is come out and uh, capture these from the rebels. Hopefully, I can do that in quick enough. So end the turn. And one thing I I. I keep starting the sentence and not finishing it. What I was thinking of doing uh, as as a as a for the laughs was just retract all my armies uh, to Daisha, the capital province, and just demolish everything else. Just be like, oh the world is burning. I took all the places over and I don't want it anymore. I'm just gonna go home and enjoy the riches. And I would dismantle all the other houses, other armies that I don't want, that I don't care for. These people trouble even the gods. I beg you, march against them before it's too late. I don't need another war, man. Just don't need it. That was a Roman army. What's going on? I, th I thought Octavian was all gone. Right, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to burn everything down. What I wish the game would have had is the diplomacy option that uh, Napoleon Total War had and uh, Empire Total War, where you can sell off your cities, sell off your land. Like, hey, you know, I have all this German territory. How about one of your German tribes buy it off of me? How does that sound? Uh, what's this? Let's sabotage these dudes. 95% of success. There is... Oh, there is a garrison. Oh, wow, they must have been here for a while. Not much of a garrison, though. Hmm. Okay. You, sir, probably leave there. Okay, so sure, let's upgrade stuff. And here, uh, so I can't do any of those. None of those options are on the table. I can't. I can't, I can't sell off my land and be like, you know, hey. Uh, I'm gonna make a million bucks and uh, go home. Nope. 
can't do it. So, so we're gonna just talk about a bit of a bit about the Dacians and who were they in the, in the history. Um, I mean, from what I remember from reading, and um, and why the Romans saw them as a threat because. Um, Although they were fairly peaceful, and I think there were s some small raids that they did against uh, territories in across the Danube River, um, but nothing too significant. Why uh, Trojan, the, the emperor, Emperor Trojan? Why he wanted to take them out is because, unlike the other barbaric tribes, the Dacians were a were actually able to um, unite and to uh, what's it called to be a real threat for for the Romans because they were they were getting all the other um, all the other tribes around you know rallied together and so he sought to uh, eliminate the threat before it gets noticeable really um, you know like a lot of the German tribes were not able to unite so Germany wasn't like a whole nation back in that time but but Dacia was so um, so Trojan started the Dacian Wars and this should be easy enough. Money gained, not much. We do want to raise it because we don't want any of those buildings. Ready for further orders. Thirsty for battle. Mm. Who are you? And why are you there? Did you run away from the city? I think he did. Alright, let's get this. Um, I guess just repair it. Uh, we will need a temple. We will need a uh, commons. We will need a... Hmm... But a warrior's lodge and um, craftsman. So yeah, so uh, there were two wars that Rome conducted against Dacia in um, year 101 and 102, and the second one in 106. And in the first first war, uh, the Romans just got a foothold over the Danube River. And um, got a peace treaty put together with the Dacians. Um, and the funny thing is that, that a lot of the runaways from Rome, which I thought this was interesting, a lot of the runaways from Rome would run away to Dacia and, and find shelter there. And uh, they would teach the Dacians, you know, Roman ways and so on. Um, but also, you know, influence their actions against Rome in a way. Um, and I forgot to mention to start with an interesting fact is that uh, it's recently been found that the Romans and the Dacians did not need uh, much, didn't need actually need any sort of uh, translator to communicate because they spoke very similar languages. Um, so then it kind of makes sense for all these runaway uh Romans to go there. Why they spoke similar languages? I don't actually know. It, uh, rumors are that the founders of um, I don't think I need any ballistas here. The founders of Roman civilization when it all began uh, could have been for, from the um, same area. So like uh, what's it called? Uh, Balkans. Jeez, oh, how did I forget Balkans? 
Right. So, you know, people would have migrated from around here, um, the Balkans, around, because people would migrate a lot back in the ancient times. And apparently the Latin language was close to whatever the Balkans spoke at the time. Of course, it all um, evolved over time and um, not a lot of uh, Dacia was conquered by the Romans. There was kind of like a spearhead uh, up through the capital like this. Um, and then from here they conducted, uh, well, they didn't actually stay around too long. They stayed around like a hundred something years. They conducted uh, things against the tribes around in the Sarmatians and so on. But mainly they came out here for the gold mines. They uh, took advantage of the gold mines that were in Dacia in these mountains. And funny enough, I don't have any gold mines in this game, in this region, so hello. You guys missed something. Um, actually, you missed a lot more than that, but <laughs> but it's still fun. It's still good to have this nation represented. And let's end the turn. I have skills. Gotta give them skills to pay the bills. This is my faction leader. Look at this. Fear, Intimidate, Into the Breach, War Cry, War Cry Group. 85% weapon damage inflicted by the commander's unit and 85% missile damage plus extra. Um, I also have Valor Rhythm, Second Wind, and Inspire. This guy has been around. He's 57. He's fought a lot of wars. He's ranked 10, obviously, now. Uh, do I want to give him another zeal? This will make him... Four zeal. I give him two zeal there, and this is gonna be resistance to foreign occupation. So very much a pacifist. <laughs> um, that's even more zeal. I don't need more zeal. I'll, I'll go with uh, authority. Or is there something cool here? Influence from your party faction wide. Diplomacy bonus. Um, I guess we'll go with that. And this guy has also leveled. Oh, it's just... These guys haven't been around for that long. They're only rank 3. Well, I guess that's pretty good. That's halfway there. Okay. Uh, Can you move? You can't move. Right. Now we enter. No. The dignitary that I got from Rome. Uh, you have this course, and how about something that that makes it so? For these last few turns, you have better uh, cultural propaganda. There we go. Now it should be over. Yay! Okay, what was I saying? Tip, 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 top. Something about stuff. Yeah. So, um, key key things to uh, look at in the history of, of these people. Um, I could say in a way that they were my ancestors because I was born in Romania. And as descendants of um, Romans and Dacians combined, because that's that's what we honor and keep a hold to. Uh, we sort of um, hold it tight to our hearts, you know, being uh, descendants of great nations. Um, and it's I think it's good to be proud of your ancestry and to be proud of what your people have become, even if. Um, we haven't heard much in the history uh, since the time of, the of Dacia. There hasn't been much um, of anything too spectacular, especially military-wise, um, from the people in that area. Uh, they 
one another family process of marriage. I'll get court nobles. Yeah, he's old enough. Alright. Uh, does that mean... Wait a second. Yep, I... He's still in my family. I was for a second. I was like, uh, he better not be now in somebody else's family. Okay, look at this, guys. Just 746 gravitas for this rank 10 general. We can secure promotion for our faction leader and make him an elder. Can we do anything else to him? We can now make him a uh, very horn. What the heck does that mean? I mean, he's about to kick over and die because he's old, but. Virgo bet. These are words I am not familiar with, but it would decrease corruption even more. Well, actually, that's the first bonus of decreasing corruption. 2940. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, that's going to be the last one. <laughs> let's see what's next. Is there another one? No, that's it. So, top rank. Top uh, nobility level, whatever it's called. There it is. Virgo bit. Research rate, authority, zeal, culture, corruption. Uh, negative corruption, so that's good. Public order, all provinces, that's awesome. Gravitas, influence. Yeah, upkeep to la all land units, not just the army. Hello! I'm done with him now. Let's poison this army! Again. Uh, you don't have to force march anymore. Uh, these people don't have a... Do you want to fight this war? Yes, you do. You're probably looking at me and saying, oh, you could have fought that on the battlefield. Yes, I could have, but... Uh, if you want to see me fight <laughs> on the battlefield, come over to my Mastodon campaign. And... Um, where were you guys at? Rebel army? Serious? Where are you? Like, where are you guys? Seriously. Because I killed off the rebel army. There we go. Raise! I don't think there's another rebel army around. Ready for but you almost lost Get your horsemen. You oh, oh. Want to see what all those bonuses does to a unit? 79 weapon damage. Holy cow. I, was, I wasn't even aware of that. I thought I'm looking at like... The piercing damage is... Armor piercing damage is still 5. I wish that went up. Melee attack 68. These guys could beast out against... Almost anything, really, right now. Three rank six unit. Three silver chevrons. Oh, this place needs... Um. Okay, how about this? Oh, we can't do bloody hell. I thought I was able to do one of these uh, wells over here, but that's not the case. You know, you gotta have the water structure inside the city. Okay, let's not have that and convert this. We can build a grove to... Yeah, why not? 
Okay, let's um, go see what these guys are doing. Oh, where are my guys? There they are. Those are not my guys. These are my guys. Should I leave from here? Well, let's leave the iron wolves up here. We're not going to use them now anyway. I was going to move them somewhere cool. Macromani are still having issues with public order. What else is new? So I was saying, if you want to see me fight, come over to my Macedon campaign. There's a lot of fighting there. I'm taking over the whole eastern land. And I will be starting a new campaign, which will replace this one, this Sunday. And from what the voting looks like, there's a clear winner uh, for what faction I'll be playing. And if you haven't voted yet and you want to vote for what faction you would like to see me play, uh, go ahead and go to... Well, actually, I'll, I'll just put a link in the description below and go to that vote poll and cast in your vote. There's still an Octavian army out. Wow. I'm not sure where these people appear from because I haven't seen any of them in ages. I thought they'd be gone by now. Defensive alliance with Pontus. Yeah. I wish... If the wisdom you possess were golden treasure, you could buy the known world. I wish the, um, uh, what's his name? Anthony's room. Because Octavian is dead. Uh, yeah, so Anthony, the Eastern Romans. Um, raid a settlement or trade route belonging to following faction. Right, well, I'm not going to be doing that. And if you've seen my previous episodes, I was referring, I was saying stuff about how you, I, I cannot. I don't know if it's just me bugged. In our good name, be welcome. I can and speak now. In <sighs> I will give a receptive ear to your Holy words. crap. I can now offer this defensive alliance. Oh, this offer is made guys. In faith, and in a spirit of honesty, I must reject it. This is insane. I can probably accomplish some some sort of um thing now. Oh, come on. I could not in honor return having accepted such an offer. Hmm. Therefore, for my people, I reject it. I can join war against all these guys. How about a military alliance? No? Okay, defensive alliance. I can join war against all those guys. Oh! Forget you, man. A man of honor and no little wisdom. How about you? Will you like to be friendlier? The gods will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without right, merit. It's not gonna happen, guys. I don't want to waste my time with these people. I would have been able to... Maybe... Um, yeah, this would have, uh, alliance with them, with, with, uh, Anthony's would have given me, um, Bithia and Pontus here, and, um, I don't know why I don't have the Noria. Oh, they also, they also don't want to ally, they're just friendly. Um, and then I would, I would need to indulge the Tracians enough to be allied with them, and then I would be able to reach this military victory with a few extra things required. Um, economic victory is impossible because of the talents per turn. This one I would have to build um, this specific building and get more provinces with culture of mine being dominant. But I don't have time for that. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. 807. Gravitas. 50-50. Political party influence. 
Um, so we're never gonna have a civil war. We're, we're a tight family here in Asia. And um, there's not much anyone could say or do at this moment. So we shall close the page in the history of our people and march on victorious. Even if others don't think we were victorious, I'm sure there's people out there that will. Oh, it's a rebel army. Hmm. So Octavian could come back as a faction. There's people out there that will deny our our victory, but not us. We hold we hold strong. We know what we did here. We came, we saw, we conquered. And look, we're gonna put a, a library. Do I have a library in Rome? I have one. Okay, we're gonna put a lore master's hut. No, that's the library. We're gonna put a chieftain's hold. We're gonna put a tavern. This isn't a tavern. Um, Morris Lodge. Meeting Hall is pretty much entertainment, so. Things, things are set in motion for this to be a grand empire that no one will be able to bring to its knees because I'm ending this playthrough. <laughs> right here right now thank you everyone for watching it has been has been a lot of fun has been a pleasure it has been awesome and I hope that you will continue to watch my videos if you are new to this channel by any chance you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and uh, I'll be happy to have you around comment down below and tell me what you thought uh, maybe you thought my history uh, reflection on the history of these people was not accurate. That's your right to say that. Uh, I don't know if I was entirely correct either. So I am um, open to a lesson if you have one. But I'm pretty sure that I was fairly correct. And yeah. Until next time. Take good care of yourselves. Bye.